The local affiliate of ISIL in Afghanistan has reportedly been active for the past two years. The group is sometimes referred to as ISIS-K, the shorthand for Islamic State in the Khorasan, an ancient name for the region. Its leader, Abdul Hasib, is now confirmed to have been killed in Nangahar province by U.S. and Afghan forces on April 27th. The top U.S. commander in Afghanistan issued a statement saying this successful joint operation is another important step in our relentless campaign to defeat ISIS-K in 2017. Little is known about Abdul Hasib except that he took over from the group after his predecessor Hafiz Said Khan died in a drone strike last July. Since then, he's believed to have orchestrated a series of brazen attacks against government targets. This included a siege on Kabul's main military hospital in March, killing at least 50 people. Hasib is now the second commander of the group to be killed in nine months. I think in the short term it's a big blow to them. Of course, it disrupts their command and control uh, for the time being. But uh, having seen what they have done in the past, uh, after a while uh, they will regroup because the stream that feeds the cesspool is outside the country and that stream is still flowing. The Pentagon has made it a priority to get rid of ISIL in Afghanistan. Last month, it unleashed its largest ever non-nuclear bomb on a network of caves and tunnels used by the group in Nangahar province. The number of ISIL fighters is thought to have significantly dropped from about 3,000 to fewer than a third that. But optimism remains tentative, with Afghans asking when or how the group will strike next. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.